Hey, what's going on there, folks? Just real quick, a lot of earthquake uh, activity happening uh, early morning hours out here uh, towards the Alaska region and also up along the uh, along the uh, coast here of uh, Canada, off the coast of Canada, I should say. Anyway, just going to do a quick update uh, real quick. It is July 27th, 22nd, 2020, about 9.09 .09 a.m., and a pretty good sized earthquake striking off the uh, Alaska region, as mentioned. This was coming from a 7.8 earthquake uh, near Perryville, or at least 105 kilometers south southeast of Perryville, Alaska, at a depth of 28 uh, kilometers. Bring over here to a different size map here, real quick. Hold on one second. So you guys can see what I'm talking about right there. 7.8 and we'll back off one page here so you guys can see the area that I'm talking about out here kind of near the Aleutian Islands Aleutian Islands area pretty uh, large cluster of quakes taking place there or aftershocks 7.8 pretty good sized quake And it looks like quite a few folks out there indeed feeling that that, that uh, activity. Historical activity out there shows some uh, quite a bit of activity in the past. You can see all those uh, circles there indicating recent earthquakes. In fact, some big ones out there as well, uh, roughly within this same subduction area, subduction zone, if you will. There is a little article on it that the USGS did put out. Uh, we'll read just a tad bit from it down here. Uh, they give you a little bit of uh, information about that 7.8 that struck near Perryville, southeast of Perryville, Alaska. Uh, it looks like it occurred as a result of thrust faulting on or near the subduction zone, as mentioned, uh, interface between the Pacific and the North American plates. Um, and they go on a, a little bit of technical issues there, technical uh, stuff. Anyway, large earthquakes are common in the Alaska Aleutian subduction zone six, since 1900. Six other earthquakes, M7 and larger, have occurred within 250 uh, kilometers <clears throat> of today's quake. The largest of these was an 8.2 earthquake on November 10th, 1938. So, no doubt, earthquakes of uh, good size are common on this region uh, there was there is some interesting activity that took place there following that 7.8 uh, activity off the coast of uh, well Vancouver Island out here seen a little bit of activity on the northern part uh, of the Cascadia subduction zone there with a 5.4 earthquake striking off the coast of Canada as I mentioned or Vancouver Island 10 kilometers below the surface there so um, definitely some some uh, some movement going on out here. All this activity following a pretty deep earthquake yesterday. A deep earthquake was uh, 605 kilometers, as you can see there near Fiji. There was a 6.0, like I mentioned. Ever since then, uh, seems as though we're getting some uh, some good movement on the north. The northeast part of the uh, Pacific Plate areas definitely be on guard as I had mentioned yesterday uh, West Coast should definitely be on guard as we could see activity uh, down here as well looking at the uh, seismographs here I noticed that there's some activity picking up near Mammoth Lakes Long Valley Super Volcano possible swarm it looks like as soon as that comes up here let me see if I can find it again it's on the uh, seismograph stations here right after the Fiji one one second here and I'll show you guys earthquakes I mean sometimes we see swarms happen right they, they occur in Mammoth Lakes but we haven't seen one in a while but anyway that uh, those two earthquakes there and also these other smaller ones which will show up once this bigger one disappears um, in Mammoth Lakes, Long Valley Super Volcano. <clears throat> Something to watch. 
let me uh, go over here and check one more page real quick. I didn't want to make a super long update, but I did want to throw out those large earthquakes that struck um, earlier today. And by the way, that did strike at, uh, what was the date on that or time? Let me check here real quick. Yeah, zero six twelve UTC time. Yeah, pretty good shaker out there for sure. Um, so yeah, getting back over here to Southern Cal real quick. I wanted to bring in the uh, all magnitudes. I know a lot of times they don't show up. USGS doesn't put the swarming activity on here, but let's just go ahead and check it real quick and uh, See if we can find it. Of course all the activity in Nevada is still happening But the Mammoth Lake swarm as you can see right here uh, There's Long Valley super volcano Right smack dab within the uh, looks like the caldera region All that activity is taking place there the list over here shows you the earthquakes that are happening right now, it's not a huge swarming event but an event nonetheless here within the uh within the super volcano area i was trying to get a couple of those to pop up here but uh anyway we'll keep you updated here uh stay tuned for the channel for more updates uh and we'll chat you guys a little bit later have a good day out there and please stay safe